Hello everyone, Mark with High Tech Legion. I hope you're enjoying our review of the Aorus Thunder K7 mechanical gaming keyboard so far. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Aorus macro engine software. And very simply we can see here our little macro engine icon. We double click, it opens up. And if you perhaps had another Aorus product, um, a mouse for instance that would show up here, uh, so you can control all of your Aorus devices, all of your gaming devices through one software engine. You would just click on that tab to go to that peripheral and then set your information from there. So here we see our K7 keyboard. We'll go ahead and double click and it takes us right to our profile screen. At the top here we see one, two, three, four, five, six profiles. Um, the profile switch that is above our macro keypad lights up according to the color of the profile here. So one is blue, two is green, three is red, etc. We can look at settings really quick and we'll go over this. There is the onboard memory on the keyboard. So we can go ahead and clean the memory if we wanted to erase all of our data, go back to stock settings. And we have our profile settings in here. You can see that Aura's logo that is above the macro buttons on the macro keypad. We can either have it breathing we could shut it off or we can have it on and you simply click save and that's set. So in our profile one here that we are selected via the blue tab at the top, we can see it is programmed just as a basic numerical keypad. We have our G1 through G20 keys and of course we can see that G5 is programmed as number seven, G6 is number eight, G7 is number nine, and so on and so forth. So let's go into our second here, and now we can see another, none of the rest of these profiles have anything programmed in. So let's go into a program, and we'll show you how easy this is to set this. So here's your basic um, disable. You could just disable that profile, or disable this key, I'm sorry. So they're all set to disable right now. We can simply set it to exactly as you see here uh, enter control shift alt any numerical any alpha numerical pretty much anything that you would want to even as far as clicks of the mouse buttons so we have that feature built in um, that we can just select on a specific key click on save and now G, our G1 key is programmed to the number 2 button G2 we could program that to be the uh, enter key. There we go. And that's that simple. So programming the keys to do a specific single function like that is very easy. If we go down here, right click. Now G3 will right click for us. And we can see that if I go on the screen over here and press G3, it right clicks just as if my, my mouse would. So it's very simple to program basic functions like that. Oops, you ever click on the wrong thing, you can click the back arrow right there at the top. Now let's look at our macros. Now we can see that there are 100 macro keys that can be programmed into the software. And of course, there are 20 keys that can be programmed per profile. So let's just go into macro one here. If you watched our video of the Aorus Thunder M7 MMO gaming mouse. We did walk through this. Uh, it's fairly similar to that as far as programming. So if you're already using an Aorus product, the programming of the macro keys will be just as easy for you. So we have our simple record at the top. We have use pause key. We have keyboard and mouse point, keyboard and mouse, keyboard, mouse and point, mouse, etc. So you can go through and select what kind of key functions you want to be able to program into your macro. You could have auto time delay, you can have a fixed time delay that you would like to enter, and for this, or no time delay, we will leave auto detect time delay. So we can see execute once, we could make this loop so it would repeatedly program or repeatedly do whatever function we program in, or we can go into fire mode which will go through the whole macro one time by pressing a single click. We can export and import macros just as we have seen before with the Oros macro engine software. So if you get 100 macros saved and 
you want to export all your macros so that you can wipe your hard drive clean reformat etc you can just export them import them all back in you don't have to go through programming everything all over again okay so we're going to simply press record at the top and whatever keys that we click and then we click stop it will go ahead and program as that macro so press and hold k key for 71 milliseconds release the k key then there's a 23 millisecond time delay and then i pressed and held the g key and then i held that for 95 milliseconds and then released so it's just that simple when you press that record that's why if we do a no time delay here delete these and we record it will simply program the keys exactly as we press them so press and hold release press and hold release press and hold release so if there was a specific uh, way that you wanted to type certain keys and every time that you pressed a certain keystroke a certain uh, one of these macro keys you wanted to have it follow that exact keystroke pattern uh, you can program that in with no time delay or you can have the auto time delay if you wanted to hold down a certain key for a specific amount of time and then release so it's very easy to program this in if we make a mistake we can go and say I didn't want to press and hold the H key I can delete that one say I didn't want to release the H key I can delete that if I make a mistake and I didn't want to delete I can undo so there's our release H key again and if I want to clear it all I can hit delete all and it clears out that macro so we can go ahead and clean at the bottom save or we can cancel so if we say save and exit it takes it takes us back to our macro screen here and we can see that all of our macros are empty because I did not save that one again here we've looked at our settings looked at our profiles this function here, if you click on this, will take you right to the Aorus website. So if you needed some quick information or you know you wanted to look at the upcoming products or you needed to download uh, an additional driver or something, that function takes you right to there. We can also see their links up at the top here. So it gives quick functionality for interaction for the end user. If we are at our home screen here, say you plugged in uh, your mouse or keyboard or whatever peripheral you may have and it did not show up, we can refresh here that would allow it to show up once we say okay it takes us right into the software and we close and we're all finished so the oros macro engine software is very easy to use very easy to program uh, we can see it has unlimited functionality to be able to program whatever kind of macro that you would need for your in-game experience um, or for any other specific need that you may wanted if you wanted to you know your Control C for copy, Control X for cut, Control V for paste. You wanted to program those into your macro keys. Um, there are actually G2, 3, and 4 because there's 20 macro keys on this keypad, whereas a uh, normal keypad only has, um, it's short those three keys because it has an extended plus, an extended enter, and an extended zero key. So we could actually set G1, G2, and G or G2, G3, and G4 to control cut or cut, copy, and paste. So we can have all that functionality built right into our macro keys for whatever usage it may be, not necessarily just gaming, possibly for applications or whatever um, other things that you might want to program specific keystrokes to make your normal computing experience just that much easier. So that wraps up the software portion of the Aorus Thunder K7 mechanical keyboard plus macro keypad video portion of our review. Make sure you watch our other video that goes through um, all the features and actually shows you the keyboard, the backlighting, um, and just what it looks like and what it can do and how easy it is to move that macro keypad around. And also see the full video review at the hightechlegion.com website. Click to subscribe below to see our future video reviews, future software overviews, and just everything that High Tech Legion has to offer you as far as our video channel through our YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash High Tech Legion and go over to Facebook and give us a like at facebook.com forward slash HTL reviews. 
thank you for watching our software overview video of the Aorus Macro Engine software.